It's Take a Nap Day. <laughs> right now? Oh, it's celebrating. <laughs> and that got us thinking about an important part of a good nap. It's many times overlooked. Your pillow. Mm -hmm. And most people don't realize it's recommended that you wash your pillow every six months. No, I didn't know that. News for Jack's consumer reporter Lauren Verno shows us the best way to get them fresh and clean. Listen, I get it. We don't wash our pillows as much as we probably can, but these dirty old pillows can actually contain mold and dust mites if you don't wash them over time. So where do you start? First, take a look at the label. If it doesn't have one like this, you're going to want to wash it by hand. Also realize that some pillows cannot be washed at all, like latex and memory foam. So let's start with ones that you can wash. First fill a sink, bathtub, or large bin with hot water that will kill the dust mites living in your pillow. Gently stir in laundry detergent. So here's where to start. If the water's too hot or you just don't want to get germy, wear some gloves. What you're going to want to do is put the pillow inside the water and soap and submerge it quite a few times because what you're going to want to do is actually get all that soap and water inside of the pillow. So just for a few minutes, raise it up and down and that pillow is going to get pretty heavy just a forewarning because it's really picking up that soap and water. You can see the water is starting to get really murky. I've been doing it for about two minutes now and there's like little dirt particles coming out that I genuinely did not know could exist in pillows for the most part. So yeah, this was needed. All right, so a few lessons already learned. If you're gonna use gloves, make sure to use the ones that go all the way up here. These were pretty useless. Also, the pillow gets really, really heavy when it soaks up with all that water. So you may need help for this next part. Our wonderful executive producer is gonna help me because the pillow is actually so heavy that you might need two people to take it out of the water and get it to drain a little bit. And yeah, that water's kind of gross. When you're ready, you're going to have to rinse the pillow in water until it runs clear when you squeeze it. Again, I enlisted some help for this part. Put the pillow on a clean surface and fold it over several times to get out as much water as possible. Once you're done with that whole process, you can actually take the pillows and put them in the dryer on a clothesline to finish that drying process. Now, what about those pesky latex and memory foam pillows? What you're going to want to do is actually vacuum them for 15 to 20 minutes and then spot clean them. Then you're done. And we have all this on our website, newsforjacks.com. I'm consumer investigator Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.